Now, I told y'all I was going to sit in here and watch this Andre Kelly and the daughter. They had an interview on Good Morning Britain today. Let me tell you, so I'm officially done with Andre and Kelly because as far as I'm concerned, she's she's worse than the people that are still supporting him. And I kind of like can't be mad at the people that still supporting him because somebody who he actually abused, his ex, I didn't even know they was married for 13 years. Something just ain't adding up with Andrea Kelly. And so they asking her all these questions. And basically what she's saying is that she's, um, I'm going to try to put the link down here at the bottom of the video. She basically is saying, you know, I don't want anybody to think that I'm accepting what he's doing is right. But I understand, she, she says, um, you know, I, the first time I seen somebody getting abused, my grandmother got abused by my granddad. Then she says, R. Kelly grew up seeing the same thing. So it's kind of like she's excusing the things that he's done. But then she goes and she says, well, I'm not, and I do want to make this clear. I'm not saying that somebody that's seen abuse should be the abuser. But that's basically what you just said, Andrea Kelly, and you full of shit. Because in a documentary, you sit up there with your lying ass and you sit up there and said, oh, the checks, um, the checks been running. I'm not doing this for no checks. But just up here, you said that he stopped the checks in last year. So your lies ain't adding up. If you're going to lie, lie consistently to me. Don't make up no bull. This bitch don't made me hot with her today. Because don't lie to me. You need to be consistently in your 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 damn lies. Um, she done made me hot. Then, okay, the daughter. I understand the daughter's 21, 21 years old. They asked the daughter how she, she's like, you know, I still support my dad or whatever. I didn't want people to think I wasn't supporting my dad because I am. And I get the daughter. The daughter was saying, you know, I'm really conflicted, you know, but the daughter listening to what the damn mama is saying. Andrea Kelly is, I didn't want to believe that she's on a money campaign, but all these interviews that she's doing and whatever. And if you can tell the people is kind of like the interviewers, the Britain people, they like, they're asking her questions, you know, like, okay, but you, you know, you got this documentary out. And she's like, well, yeah. And then this is what got me, y'all. She asked, they asked her, um, do you agree with the stories of the girls in the documentary? And she goes, I can neither confirm or deny anything that happened with the girls in the documentary. Those are all they sto those stories. I wasn't there. I don't know anything about that. Huh? So... You was locked up in a damn house. He had you locked up yo yourself. These girls are saying the same thing that you went through that he did to them, that he did to you, and you cannot, you can't agree or confirm the story or not. It would seem to me you would say, well, yeah, he did the same thing to me, so I would guess that they're doing the same thing, which again leads to the fact that you did that damn documentary with those other girls so you could get some shine and you can go on all these world tour interviews, you fucking lying ass heifer. Because what it sounds like to me is you still fuck with R. Kelly to me. Like, you gotta be, you, you, you like, I don't know if he done got to you or he putting death threats out on your head or something like that. But if that's the case, then you need to press charges on him or something. I'm, I'm not understanding what's going on here. Your story's not your story's not lining up, Andre Kelly, because you sitting up here with your face beat to the gods. Now, just what last year or two years ago, you was on a reel on Sister Circle on the View crying. Now the documentary comes out, your story, your whole story don't flip and change. So something ain't adding up. Either you lying, or he got a he telling you to go out here and change the story. Or he's saying he going he gonna the money gonna stop flowing in. But I know you getting money to do these damn exclusive interviews. So something just ain't right, Andre. You 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 lying. Something ain't damn it right. You ain't fooling me, girl.
Um, wow. Hold on, let me turn it up so y'all can hear. I'm going to post the link to the damn video down here at the bottom so y'all can click on it. This is from today. It was live today. So she can't sit here and say <clears throat> this was old and this is this and this is this and stuff. What she need to be saying is when they going to take his music down off of Apple Music or when are they and you know that the man the interview was like, you know, Maybe hopefully they'll get him on charges or whatever. They sitting up here talking about some oh that's my dad and all this kind of stuff. Bitch, you miss me with the bullshit, okay? Y'all full of shit. And you know, I get that different people go through abuse differently. Okay, and I understand that maybe she's going through some kind of backlash or she's having different responses to it. But here's the thing. Like I said, if you're going to be consistent in what you what you serve in me, be consistent in what you serve in me. Don't be on a view crying. Then you go to the documentary, you crying, but you got you getting on interviews and you sitting out here. Um, what you what you gonna call it? Defense. Basically, she's defending him. That's basically what she's doing. Y'all, I'm about to put the link down here. Y'all watch it and y'all let me know what y'all get out of it. Is she defending him? Or um, do you think that R. Kelly has reached out to her and told her that if she keeps bashing him, that he's going to kill her or something like that? Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm done while Andrea Kelly fuck her.